Welcome back. My name is Kong Tao. I am a sound mixer based in Southwest Missouri. In this video, I am going to be soldering some cables that I've been kind of procrastinating on. There's been some lobs that's been broken since April of 2023, and I kind of want to get them to work again just because uh, I don't want like anything that I can't use laying around too long. There are some lobs that I can't work on because uh, it kind of exceeds my expertise and I'm not confident enough to actually fix them, but here I am complaining. Okay, I'm trying to repair this cable because cable techniques, y'all sent in a cable that was bad right away, I'm sorry. Um, and I, originally I bought the cable a while ago and then I, I think it went bad because I used it for, like quite a bit, I think maybe six months and then it went bad. And I contacted Cable Techniques and um, I sent it to them. They just sent me a new one, but this came in bad as well. And I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. But um, I mean, I know how to solder things. I've this video, I fixed a few cables already. But I want to kind of pay attention to this. So first off, uh, all five wires. Now I include the shielding. It's used now in this cable I fix there are five cables here as well but only three including shielding is used and on this one they've used all of it which I don't know if it makes a difference or anything like that but I mean they used it so it's being sent that way right and I was fixing I'm pretty sure only the female end is messed up I was fixing this end and I cut it, which um, this is about the same size. This is actually the same size that this length was. So I cut right where the zip tie is right here. This is a zip tie. And then I stripped it. And it always comes with this like a shielding and the fuzzies, like little fuzzy insulation. And I think all the shielding is really like in the the insulation. It's not like clumped in one area or another layer like most cables are that I've worked with. And I think all these are together. And if they are together, it will take either forever for me to like organize it or like separate it or I can't work with it. So I, God, I just, I really like this cable. Like, it's low profile, you know? But if I can't fix it, what the hell? And it's, just, it's kind of annoying me because I'm like, this kid has just been in a drawer for like, I don't know, two years? Just sitting there doing nothing because it's, it's not working well. And if I can't fix it, then it's just going to be a waste of my money. So I have no there. I have no idea what to do. If I... If I cut more and strip more, this cable will get less and less. And I have very little real estate. When I was fixing this one, I cut quite a bit already. This is probably like up to uh, the tip of the cable here, the original length. It was pretty close to this one. See how long this is? Almost licked my hand. And in this end, not even half. Because I kept screwing up on this one, so that's my fault. So, I'm going to cut it again and look at the insulation and the shielding and see what comes off it. And I'll videotape what it looks like. Okay, so I just stripped and I just cut it and stripped it. Here's the strip part. And so I'm going to talk about this one here. The reason why this kept getting shorter and shorter was, was because this uh, rubber encasing here, it was pretty hard to strip. And uh, it would continuously, no matter what size I chose, it would continuously take the insulation and shielding out. And I was just struggling with it so hard. And then I actually found the right like measurement on my wire stripper here. And which I did once and then the first time it stripped a bunch out, which so, but whatever. But this, this is like a little bit tougher. It's not rubbery. 
so I was able to strip it easier and cut it easier. But this is the installation I'm talking about. And I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's uh, changed the deeper I went, but Okay, I think it's different this time, which is a shame because I don't want to cut it anymore. This is pretty short already. I can't just really uncoil this, you know. I don't know how what they do to make it coiled. But I think this one actually might work. But um, let's show the stripped casing here and see. It took a little bit of insulation out. If I did the widest one, the 10 gauge, then that doesn't fit. So I had to do the 12 gauge, which was, uh, I think it's gauge. Is it 10 or eight? I don't know, but the biggest one, if I do that, I can't do it, it's too big. Then I have to go to the next one, which like is significantly smaller. I'm not an expert engineer, so I don't know what I'm really doing most of the time. I've only soldered cables and nothing else, so here's the cut part I just cut. But if this works, I'm gonna try to repair it and hopefully it'll work and I can use this cable too. I'd rather have three um, coiled XLRs than just one because um, the sound mixer, um, this one broke uh, last time he was using it. Literally like the solder point on pin three broke. And I was like, what, how? So yeah, so I'm gonna, and I bought a new one out of necessity again, just because like, you know, I'd rather have the coiled than the non-coiled cables cause it's just more convenient. So I would have three, like I said, for backups. And I, of course I always bring my non-coiled cables just because, uh, yeah, backups. But let's try to fix this. I think this cable is good to use um, yesterday. So this has been like a few day projects just because I've been like setting it aside and soldering is a lot of work for me. So I kind of come in and out whenever I need to do it, so. Um, but yesterday I finished soldering it. I did a test on my tester and it said pin three was kind of screwed up still. And then I tested again. I didn't do anything, literally. I just like took it out, put it back in. I was wiggling around and then none. I said everything was fine. So uh, yeah, and then uh, I had to buy a new, very tiny zip ties for um, in here. So I want to test it in that before I, you know, say it's good. I tested it, it's fine. And then I test, I'm, right now I'm testing it with my Zoom F3. It seems to be okay. Um, I, I test my soldered cables with this mic because this is my sacrificial mic. I dropped this mic one day and um, it's just been kind of screwy a little bit. But it would do random things like it would increase the bass just constantly or noise levels just like super high just increasing i don't know so like i just set that as my on desk mic and i use that for streaming it's it's still fine like once in a while like it's okay you know but i do that first and then i come to my road nt5 and everything seems to be okay i was listening to it and i didn't hear any clicks any weird stuff so i think it's good to go I think I'm gonna put this back onto the boom pole and make, make it my main XLR to my bag again and have this cable and the one on my actual bag as backups. Um, the one in the bag is brand new, so that one will work for sure. So at least I have three cables that I can, I know I have backups with, and of course those straight cables. But that is, uh, this video's soldering adventure. I need to clean up now and prepare for work.